One, two, three, four, five. It is now time for our main event of the evening. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. Mr. Brown, and oh, I'm so excited. And this just has all the makings of dynamite. Welcome to the Scrap and Roll MMA Podcast. Peace, peace, peace. Welcome to the Scrap and Roll MMA Podcast. I'm your host, Sky, and this is... I'm Danny, and I am a co-host guest for the day. Feeling very special, very happy and eager to get this going. Um, thanks, Sky, for letting me be on today. I really appreciate that. A.K.A. my wife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, Damien couldn't be here tonight. He is out sick, so we're hoping that he feels much better. Um, Costa vibes, you know. But I said I was going to be here Wednesday, so we got to show up and be here Wednesday, right? Um, and so I said, "Hey, babe, you want to hop in? You want to talk about some fights? You want to have a good time?" She's down. She's game. So here we are, um, bouncing back. Can I throw something out there real quick? Mm -hmm. For those people that are like, well, who is she? Yeah, exactly. Who oh, yeah. am I? Yeah. Um, Sorry. Bad no, no. Host. I just want to make sure you realize that I'm a novice. I am there for the yelling. I am there for the beer. I am there for the for the pure excitement and the adrenaline and the crowd feeling and vibrations. All that. I love it. It's a good time. Now, do I know all the information that Sky knows? Oops. No, I I don't. So I don't want you guys to be like, she didn't even know his name. I'm going to say, yeah, that guy with the colorful hair. I like him. And it's going to be okay because you're going to understand. I'm here representing the novice, the people who just like to show up, have a good time, and they just don't know all the names and all the facts. I'm representing you. So let's yeah. do this. And you know what? Shout out to those people because everybody starts off as a novice, right? Everybody starts off knowing absolutely nothing, just like myself, and you have to learn, you have to watch different people. So Danny, since you've been watching off and on for like the last five years, who would you say are like your top two or three people that you absolutely get excited about when you see? Great question. Well, I'm, just to keep the home happy, I am part of the blessed Express. Choo-choo. Choo-choo. So I, I just have to. I mean, when he comes on, I'm right there for it. I'm I'm for it. Um, but who do I get excited? You know what? I know this is crazy, but I really, really, really like um I'm I i can not even think of his name. See, this is what's happening. I'm just gonna lose what my What does he look like? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the guy that has that tattoo of his daughter. On his oh, shoulder, Anthony Pettis. Uh, I love Pettis. I don't yeah. know why I like Pettis, but it, the energy of Pettis when I see him fight, you met him. I, I got to meet him, and I think when you meet a fighter and you get to see who they truly are, and that you know they're real people, and I, I don't know, his whole energy is awesome, and he's just a great guy, and he was just nice, and I was like, yeah, kill him, ah! <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, I really like Pettis, and it's so, I love the fact that you know who I was talking about, I'm like, yes. the guy with the tattoo, you know, with the stuff, yeah, he's awesome, yeah. I like him, he's one of my favorite, I'd have to say. You also really, really love Amanda Nunes. Oh, don't talk about my Amanda. <laughs> Amanda, let me tell you something, I knew when she was going to lose, the way she came out, the way she was walking, it was in her eyes, she was tired. You know, and I was all going home, yeah, Amanda, yeah. And then I saw her and I said, Sky, she's not winning tonight. Yeah, she said, and uh, she's uh, like, something's weird, something weird I going said, on. I said, something's off, something's off. And she's like, oh, you gonna, you can't be like that, that's your, I said, I know she's my girl. I love her to death, shout out to you if I ever meet you. Hey, we already friends, just know this. Um, but I could tell. And that's what I do with these fights. It's like, even when I look at the cards and I pick and I wake up and I pick and I look at the card, I'm watching the picture. I'm looking at their face and there's just something about it. If some, you know, if they got that killer in them or if they have that desire or if they just feel tired, I don't know what it is, but I, I, I can, I, I feel like I can look at a person and say, ah, they're not really in it today. And typically, I mean, I've had cards that I've had 10 fights in a row, a hundred percent right. Then I've had some cards that, you know, maybe one or two. Then I get 
one or two wrong and then one or two right and you know off and on but the majority of the time i'd like to say i'm what you're 80 good. you're good 70 80 percent right 80 percent right you know just looking at them yeah and you know and also the music that they come out to that could change my mind too because i'm just like mm -mm, what is this this is this is not hyping anybody up the energy's not right he's not here to play he's just here to get paid and so those are the things but back to new uh newness love newness yeah i'm a lioness she also really, really loves Johnny Walker. Now, Johnny's my boy. Now, Johnny, <laughs> what? Yeah, look, it's so funny. It's like I didn't think of these names right off. And you're going to say Cowboy, too. I love Cowboy. He's awesome. He picked me up. Now, I'm sure you can tell by the video, picking me up is not something you probably want to do if you don't have a very strong back. And Cowboy took one arm and he swung it around my waist and he lifted me up and he said, hey, and I'm just thinking, Put me down. No, don't. Put me down. No, don't. And it was just so shocking. And he just was so nice. And he took pictures and he just let me fawn over him. And <laughs> it was like I was his friend. Like, how do you? I know you. I don't know. We feel like we've gone back way back. So Cowboy, he had my heart right then and there. And I just I, I adore him as a person. And he I love watching him as a fighter. Um, made me cry when I saw him put his gloves out. I mean, uh, I was like, no, but just the right thing to do. A winner knows when to quit. Basically, I know that's a weird saying, but I've always said that a winner knows when to quit. Um, and Johnny, it's just something about Johnny. That Johnny. If I had a buddy in the streets, that'd be Johnny. Yeah, I'm sure it's the dancing. It, is it the dancing? <laughs> he, he gets going and he makes me happy. And I'm like, get it, Johnny, get it, get it, Johnny, get it. And then I have a new favorite one, too. It's O'Day. O'Day Osborne. Just love him. I adore him. He is funny. He is, he, he, he's just a good guy. Not just a good guy, but he is a very good guy. And I really adore O'Day. So those would be the fighters that I typically look at. And that one wrestler, Danny, that big dude named Danny that we saw he's grappling. Jiu -jitsu. He's jujitsu. Danny the Giant. Yeah. Danny the Giant. Oh, man. Talk about I had a good time watching him. So I like people who put on a good show, have a good energy. And they're just nice people, you know, at that. You know, I want them to do well. I really do. Um I'm an athlete by heart. I've always played sports. I love sports. I understand sports to an extent. I know my role, what I'm supposed to do. And I just really enjoy when I see somebody love what they're doing and are being in the really athletic. So, oh, this is a good time. I'm going to give a shout out to my girl, Sandy. Sandy Nichols. She played uh, football with me. Colorado Valkyries. What? Um, yeah, um, we play professional football. And Sandy Nichols is... Bo Nichols' Bo mom. Nichols' mother. Yep. So that was really cool. We went to a fight. I got to see my girl Sandy in the sun. And so now Bo's one of my favorite fighters, too. So, you know, that's a person that I'm going to totally cheer for because I know his mama. <laughs> and and also, um, like I said in episode number one, shout out to O'Day Osborne. O'Day. Uh, we were on his podcast and it was absolutely amazing. His podcast is amazing. So make sure that you check it out. Um, it's on YouTube, it's on Spotify, check out O'Day Osborne, um, Wagwan podcast. Uh, he has a couple of episodes with Buckley, with Jamal Hill, Cutman Tate. That mm. episode is absolutely hilarious. Uh, Jordan Levitt is on there. You have Curtis, uh, I can't remember Curtis last name right now. I'm so sorry, but listen, check out O'Day's, uh, podcast It's absolutely hilarious. And you get to see a different side of the fighters that you don't typically get to see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead, you know, and just let's get into it. Let's talk about it. You know, if you haven't already, go and check out the UFC 280 recap that I posted. Um, just going over how I felt about some of the fights that had happened last week. Uh, looking back at it, since last recording the recap, um, there really hasn't been any information that's come out as far as to as who Aljermaine Sterling could potentially be fighting. Like I said, I really hope that it's Sean O'Malley just so that he can have the opportunity to like get his notoriety up and so that people can like really see him um, and he can get to that like fame level that I feel like he's been aiming at and trying to get to. Um, yeah, but looking forward onto this next card. So this weekend is UFC Vegas 63, which I really actually hate that they've like started calling it UFC Vegas this and that. And then like 
all these other, like it's hard to figure out which one it is. But anyways, that's what we got coming up this weekend, uh, USC Vegas 63. And of course, headlining it is Calvin Cater, AKA Max Holloway's son versus Arnold Allen. Um, Danny, do you know why I call Calvin Cater Max Holloway's son? Chains underneath them. Oh, no, no, no. It's because Max made him his daddy. I mean, his son. He daddied him. He he tore him up. He was like, who your daddy? Call me your daddy. That's why it's the son, right? That's, that's, that's right, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's the guy that Max Holloway, you know, record 440-something punches to the head, elbows, kicks, knees. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely vicious and disgusting, 10-7. Um, so unfortunately, I have to call Calvin Cater, Max Holloway's son. Uh, it just is what it is. I'm absolutely excited for this fight. Um, Arnold Allen is on a seven or eight fight win streak uh, in the UFC. And he's finally getting an opportunity to fight somebody up in the top five. Uh, so we're excited to see what Arnold Allen can do. Take a look at their eyes, Dan. So real quick, the way that Danny picks who's going to win is... Very strange, very different, but it works for her. I don't know how she does it, but she does it. Every morning, that Saturday morning, I get up, I take a screenshot, and I send her the picture, and I'm like, all right, select who you think's going to win. And like we said, she's usually anywhere from 70 to 80% correct. So look at that. upsets, their eyes, too. I call an upset. I, call, I will call an upset. Yeah. Look into their eyes. And tell me, which one do you think it's going to be? <laughs> you know, I sit back and when I'm looking at Alan, he almost has I, my first initial snap decision when I saw him. He has a little bit of uncertainty. He feels, uh, and I'm not going to say he's scared because the man's not scared. He's a professional fighter. But uncertainty came to me as soon as I looked at his face. And then I look at Qatar. Cater. Qatar. Everyone. I call him Qatar. You say Qatar. Huh? But Cater, if that's what you want to call Sadie, Sade, whatever. <laughs> Cater. Because, you know, respect the man's name. Uh, he actually has a very calmness, calm, calmness about him. He seems a little more certain, like, hey, I'm here. I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to go with... Uh, Cause, but now Alan's kind of doing that. Oh, I really want it. <laughs> Snap decision. I'm gonna say Calvin. Calvin's got got this one. All right, gun to your head. You're picking Calvin Cater. Calvin. Um, coming off of that last fight with Hooker, Arnold Allen versus Hooker. Him getting Hooker out of there as quickly as he did um, was pretty impressive. Calvin Cater beaten the hell out of Giga Chikaze mm. was insane. Um, brutal. He got some of them elbows from Max Holloway. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Um, I'm a little, I'm, it's going to be a close, close fight, I think. And I'm leaning more towards Allen, Arnold Allen. Um, think it's going to be close though. I think it's going to be close, but Arnold Allen has that momentum going. Um, we need it in the 145 division now that uh, Volkanovski, you know, beat Max Holloway for the third time. There needs to be a clear cut number one. Arnold Allen would make a good uh, person to step in and be able to fight for the title. Somebody who hasn't. Um, and Calvin Cater is just, you know, coming off that giga fight. So, you know, we'll take a look. We'll see. Move it on to the next one. We have like Tim this. Means versus Max Griffin. Take a look into their eyes. What do you see? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, just I do a snap decision. First thing first, I'm like, Max is going to win. But I'm taking a different look, just looking at Tim. He has that kind of like, ha, ha, I'm going to catch you slipping. He has that look that I'll get you. Yeah, yeah. Max in this picture kind of seems like, hmm, I'm here, but I'm ready and I'm solid. I don't know. There's something about Tim, though. He just seems like, you see that look, babe? Do you see what I'm talking about? He, he has looks kind of like uh, it's almost cocky, cocky, very yes. self-assured. He's just like, oh, if you knew, you probably <laughs> wouldn't have took this fight. And you, you ought to know and see what's going on. But 
I'm going to go with my first snap decision and go with Max. All right. Um, I have no dog in this fight, but if I had to, uh, Tim Means coming off of that loss with against Kevin Holland probably has something that he wants to prove. Then mm -hmm. you have Max Griffin. Um, I believe that he finished his last fight. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see uh, what comes of this. Uh, I think I'm going to go opposite of Danny again and say, Tim Means. No, 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 I'm playing. What, I'm going to lean towards Max Griffin as well. Um, we're doing shots on this, by the way. Who? So far, somebody's got two shots to the gut right oh, now. Okay, you want to do that? Pop, wait, pop. Wait, wait, what kind of, you said shots to the gut. Well, like, well, body shots or like shots? Oh, shots? we could do that. Do you want to do like head or gut? No, like, I don't want to do head shots at all. Well, I would never choose Maybe a, the head. Okay, let's do this. Let's do gut shots. So what we'll do is, I wasn't going to go down this card and pick everybody. But since you're here and this makes it fun... I'm going to allow you to pick who you think is going to win and I'll automatically default to the other person and then that will determine gut shots. Well, you don't so, have to automatically default because then it will just be like we're both if we're both wrong, then we both get a shot or something. I don't know. It's wrong is wrong. OK. But, OK. I just want to say something real quick. When I was thinking gut shots, I know I'm using the wrong terminology. You're thinking punching. I know we're talking fighting. I'm thinking drinking. Well, that's like, what I asked. I yeah, I know. I know. Then drink. you went there and you got so happy. And then I'm thinking she's going to hit me. Okay. Let's not hit each other. We are yeah. married. That's domestic violence. And then violence. I'm going to say we're going to have it on video and I'm going to use it for if anything goes wrong in, in 2035. I'm like, she hit me and she did it on video. Okay. All right. So we'll do it as shots then. So just going back, uh, Danny went with Calvin Cater. I went with Arnold Allen. We both went with Max Griffin. Mm -hmm. So if we lose, then we'll both have to take a shot. Uh, looking at these two, I'm going to roll with uh, Jared Vadera. You know what? I like Jared too. Jared has this a very calmness in his eyes. Like, hey, how you doing? Almost kind of, it's just, it, there's a gentle softness on there. I like that. And I guess, you know, Waldo on this picture, his head, his eyes are kind of raised a little bit and has a little this bit of This is going to be growth. his debut. He's kind of has that, you know, that look almost of, hey, I'm here. Hey, what's going on? I think Jared's got this. I'm going with Jared. Cool. Rolling into uh, Josh Fremd. I'm, you know what? I'm not Fremo. I'm Fremd. I don't know his last name. And I'm not going to pronounce people's last names. Listen, if I can't pronounce her name, I don't want to be up here talking He's crazy. He's a free MD. Against Treshawn Gore. Treshawn Gore needs a fucking win. Boy, does he need a win. Like, he looked phenomenal on Tough, and we haven't seen any of that since then. Um, so I'm going to go for Treshawn Gore in this. Oh, yeah. Um... You know what? I'm going to do the, the Trish on Gore, too. I am. I am. That works for me. Let me pick this next one because I saw All him right. just right through here. Pow, pow. The look, the feel. I'm going with Junior. I'm going with Junior. Khalil Roundtree as well. However, this is going to be, I'm telling you guys, this might be the best fight on this card. Dustin Jacoby versus Khalil Roundtree might be the best fight on this card, strictly because... Look at Khalil Roundtree, his last three to four fights. He has been a savage. Every time he's throwing a strike, he's throwing it to cause damage. He has been vicious in there. Mm. And then you have Dustin Jacoby, who's coming from um, kickboxing. I think he, he definitely won his last fight, and it was beautiful. It was an upset. Um, but still, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rock with Khalil. Um, just cause he's just been looking so vicious, but this, this fight is going to be absolutely amazing. Do not miss it. Uh, next fight, I'll let you pick first as well. Hmm. So I'm going to sit up here looking at genuine, genuine, whatever. Hey, with his, like it, genuine. No, just the hair, the blondness of it. Cisco? And I, I know I'm just kind of like, oh, Cisco, whatever thong, his thong. name is. Yay. Hey, pop, 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 thong, 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 thong. I don't know. I like Roman. You like Roman? Uh-huh. I like. Big butts and I cannot lie. No, I'm gonna roll with Phil Haas. Okay. All right, All right. Phil. All right. Sorry. I mean, the hair is great, by the way, Phil. If you see this, I love your hair. I love the All right. It's a Andre Alofsky versus Marcos de Lima. I am rolling with Marcos de Lima. Oh. I, I, I want to roll with Marcos. I, I love Brazil. Brazilian fighters, I think they're just something else. 
You know what? I'm going with Lima too. All right. I am. Joseph Ugly Man Holmes. That's his nickname. Versus Park. I'm rolling with. Uh, Let's take. I'm gonna go with. Walk. I'm doing the park. You going park? I'm, I'm going, going park. park too. Yeah, I'm going park too. Um, this is a lot harder picking this way instead of having the phone and actually yeah, being able to sit here and look. I know. I'm just like, and, it's different. And your gut's on the line. Yeah. Like, these are a lot of shots if we get this wrong. Like, who decided <sighs> to do this? This is crazy. And we're going to record it and we'll make sure that we post it. I like Chase. You like I remember Chase? watching Chase before and I like him. Mm -hmm. I'm going with him just because I like him. I'm going to roll with Chase Hooper. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no picture for Carlos Mata versus Cody Durden. We're not going to go with these two because you don't have the opportunity to see look the at the face. eyes and mm -hmm. choose. Um, but overall, you know, when people see, once again, when people see cards like this, they instantly say, oh, it looks, it looks terrible. We don't know anybody on here. These are the cards to watch mm -hmm. because it's nothing but pure violence. Um, we'll definitely be watching Thursday is Danny's birthday. Happy birthday so to me. So if you guys get a chance, go ahead and hop on her Instagram, send her a DM, let her know happy birthday. And you can pretty much tell her happy birthday anytime that you see this video. I don't care if it's a year from now. Yeah. You can stop, tell her happy birthday, I've seen you. I'll take it. She'll take compliments all love. day. I love A love. gift and some love all day. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then also going on this weekend, a super big fight. Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva takes place this weekend. And this is what we've been wanting to see, right? We've been wanting to really see him fight a striker. Now he's getting the opportunity to fight a striker. Um, although he hasn't fought an actual legitimate boxer, we know how good Silva has looked um, as far as boxing against uh, Chavez Jr. Mm -hmm. However... With all that being said, I want nothing more than for Silva to win. But my heart tells me Jake Paul's going to get it done. I don't know why this man wins so much. It just infuriated me when I saw him knock down. What's that little dude's name? He just went cold. Tyron Woodley. Man, little Woodley turned a little piece of wood. Boom. <laughs> and I was like, what is happening? All these prime athletes against this dude. I mean, granted. But they're older. Yeah, they're older. He's fighting older. He's fighting people from MMA, which boxing, although boxing is incorporated into MMA, it's a completely different style. A boxer, an MMA fighter going into boxing is not the same compared mm -hmm. to a boxer coming into MMA that would absolutely get demolished, right? But um, when you go just straight boxing, it limits them. And it's kind of just hard for them to be able to be... Um, you know, as effective, but we so seen Silva look good yeah. in boxing. So who are you going for? I'm going with Silva. I want Silva to win, period. I'm going with the pure want. I just need to see Paul realize that, man, you just, you can't just try to dominate. I mean, yeah, he makes a lot of money doing this and it's great and it's wonderful, but he needs his ass whooped. That's hey, what he hey, needs. You want Paul's ass whooped, I huh? need his ass. Yeah, pow, 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 pow. If I could do it, I would have jumped in myself. Maybe we can get what's my boxer I like, the one that I like. Uh, Gervonta. No, no, I'm thinking of the female that I absolutely love. Clarissa. Man, if Maybe. Clarissa can get in there and do some damage, <laughs> how good would that be? I, I mean, really, how Clarissa? Pow, 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 and knock his little ass out. That would be fun. I'd watch it. Yeah, that'll probably never. I happen. know, but you know, we never thought any of his fights would ever happen, though. Yeah, yeah, and he's mm -hmm. been doing well. It's just for entertainment, right? It's just but a game. It's just a fight. <laughs> just make me mad. Yeah, so Paul versus Silva. You know, let us know who you guys think is going to uh, get it done this weekend. Um, overall, there's some really good fights that are happening. This Calvin Cater versus Arnold Allen is absolutely exciting. I am excited to see if this you know if Arnold Allen or Calvin Cater can emerge as the number one contender because Jair had the weird fight with Brian Ortega where the arm popped out in the first round so it wasn't really definitive and then Calvin Cater versus Josh Emmett was a close fight that people a lot of people thought Calvin Cater won I thought that Josh Emmett won when it was all said and done but with that fight having so much controversy over it, we don't know who the number one contender is going to be. You know, uh, Max is 
coming back from, you know, his honeymoon. But I did see him post a video yesterday, uh, you know, in the gym. So who knows? Maybe Max Holloway early. Listen, I am fighting for Max Holloway to fight against Cater. I mean, to fight against uh, oh, yeah. Conor McGregor for his comeback. I think that would be absolutely amazing for Max. You know, I want him to get red panty night. <laughs> and... um but, you know, we'll see. So hopefully we get a clear cut, you know, whoever wins out of Arnold and, and uh, Cater. I hope that it's a dominant win and, you know, we'll have somebody to potentially fight Volkanovski maybe summer next year because he'll be fighting February um, in Perth, Australia for the 155 strap. But, yeah, that's going to be it for today. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Wrap it up. Um, Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. We will be dropping this podcast every single Wednesday. Regardless of who's showing up, I'm going to show up. Um, and Danny, you got any words you want to let off with? Yeah, I do have some last words. I just want to say one, first, thanks for tolerating me, the novice, and all you other novice Come out, talk to us, watch the show. You know, I, you can ask me questions too and tell me, you know, hey, how do you pick? How do you pick? I want to know how you pick your people. And I just really appreciate you guys letting me get in here, chop it up, even though I don't have the same expertise as you, but I still have a good time watching it because this sport is one thing we can all agree on, that this is a badass sport. Yes. Right? But thanks, Guy. Thanks for letting me um, jump in on your little... Your, you're, you're, you're set. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming. And to everybody else that's watching, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next Wednesday. Be sure to come back on Sunday where I'll go ahead and recap. And I'll be posting a video of who had to take the most shots based off of these. <laughs> based off of these results. Yeah, man. Yeah. So peace out. Have a good night. Peace, peace, peace.